Good morning. Today we're here at Walmart. We're going to go in, check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. As soon as we come into Walmart here, they do have the California mandarins on sale here. The cuties, four seventy-eight. dollars It's the cheapest we've seen them. On sale at Kroger, it was $4.99, so a little cheaper than there. So one of our viewers wanted me to check out the pasta salad, potato salad particularly. Uh, they did go up in price here. They were $3.45, uh, now they're $3.74, so a little higher. But we are seeing them come back in. Uh, this has been empty for the longest time. I just found a crazy price here. $7.37 for two pounds of peaches. Really? That seems a bit ridiculous. Boy, prices are just going up and up and up. Three pound bag of Gala apples, $5.52. $5.52, they're $4.49 for three pounds at Kroger. So about the cheapest that we've seen, pineapples, $2.18 for either a Dole or a Fife's. I would get the Dole. Um, yeah, it's about the cheapest we've seen it. Watermelons have just been ridiculously expensive. We did see them for $5.99 at Kroger, but they are back up to $7.99. Still cheaper than $9.28 here at Walmart. So for a regular price, they do have $1.48 a pound on their red seedless grapes. They are on sale at Kroger this week, $0.98 cents a pound. Uh, $2.38 for the green grapes here at Walmart. That is up from $2.08 a pound. $2.38 a pound. Boy. Things just keep going up here at Walmart. One good deal I see here is $3.86 for two pounds of strawberries. Uh, $3.38 for one pint of blueberries, but we've seen blueberries as high as $3.99 and the raspberries $3.18. They are on sale at Kroger for $2.77, but the regular price for a lot of the raspberries has been pretty expensive. We saw it at Meyer. $3.59 for six ounces. They have a few cantaloupes here and a few honeydew melons. Uh, we got some requests to check these out at Walmart a while back. $4.28 here for the honeydew melons. They're $4.29 at Meyer. $2.68 for the cantaloupes. These are $2.99 at Meyer. So a little cheaper, but I gotta say, these cantaloupes are very small. They do have the California oranges, the four pounds. For five dollars and twenty-three cents, got a lot of good comments on these ones here. They do have a lot more produce back here than they had the last time we were here at Walmart, which is good to see. However, it is a dollar thirty-eight a pepper, which is about the highest we've seen it. Today is May twelfth, twenty twenty-two, so any of the sales that we talk about that have to do with Kroger will last until Tuesday, the seventeenth. So here's something else: seventy-seven cents a piece for an ear of corn. These are six for three dollars at Kroger this week. Also, they have their asparagus here for $1.98 a pound. That's not too bad. We saw it at Kroger for $2.49 a pound, and that was down from $3.49 a pound. So $1.98 a pound really ain't too bad. Well, they actually have some fresh broccoli. Uh, however, it is $1.72 a pound, making this ridiculously expensive. They have these bags of Nature's Fresh tomatoes here on the vine. It says $1.68. It doesn't say $1.68 a pound or anything. So if this is per bag, that's a pretty good deal. Um, not sure if that's the case though. Make sure you take a picture of that if you get something like this so you can show them at the register. It doesn't show per pound, so I don't know. I almost feel like they should give it to you for that price. And we got some more comments about Thomas Bagels. They have been going back up again lately. Uh, some of them, the cinnamon ones are $3.88. All the other ones, the plain and everything else, are $3.68. We've been seeing them creep back up to $4.19 again. So if you find a sale on them, I'd buy them up when you can because they're most likely going to be $4.19 pretty much everywhere. Did want to point out that their blueberry muffins are pretty good here. This is the first time we've seen them in a long time. Uh, $3.28 is a pretty good deal. And they're not bad. We've had them before. So real quick, just something I noticed here that uh, these big containers of the cheese balls did go up from $5.98 to $6.58. So another big price hike. Um, I got some nieces and nephews that love these, so I just wanted to point these out. 
So if you are one of the ones that are having trouble finding broccoli, you can always check the freezer aisle. They always have frozen broccoli. Um, well, I don't know about always, but at least around here they seem to. 98 cents. Uh, let's see, that's 12 ounces. Most of the frozen vegetables are 12 ounce bags, no matter which one you get. They do have the mixed vegetables. Uh, we've used these before, 84 cents. Um, you know, that's cheaper than Kroger. We've been seeing that some places have been going as high as $1.30 to $1.40 for a normal dollar bag of vegetables. So, 84 cents ain't too bad. So, we've been getting a lot of comments on ranch dressing lately. Uh, so the Hidden Valley Ranch, the big one here, uh, that I was trying to do a price comparison here, five seventy six uh, is the cheapest we've seen at five ninety nine, but we've seen it for six ninety nine too. So didn't want to say that they have the Great Value Ranch here, which is the same size of that big Hidden Valley. Uh, I would compare this to Hidden Valley. It is less than half the price, two fifty four, way better deal, and. Um, doesn't taste exactly the same, but it's it's a good ranch dressing. Does look like Walmart's getting in a lot more of their dry beans. Getting a lot of comments on these lately. People having trouble finding them. They got the northern beans down here. Uh, a lot of variety here, so good to see. They got the big 20 pound bag of pinto beans, some rice. Big huge thing of uh, basmati rice there. Well, that's gotta be 20 pounds at least. Uh, yep. 20 pounds they've got the big 20 pound uh, thing of jasmine mahatma rice for 23.36 they got a smaller one here for 6.78 the five pound yeah good to see they got this look at this here's the five pound long grain white uh bins ready rice original rice uh, 8.816 that's ten dollars at kroger so much better deal here also they do have the variety of the Ben's original ready rice. Uh, 212. It's been 249 at Kroger, although they do have a sale going on three for seven. Uh, but this is still a better deal, so. And actually, I believe these dropped in price because these, yeah, these were 238. These were 238, so they dropped down to 212. Good to see another item that has dropped down in price. A couple few weeks ago, we were getting a lot of comments on pickles, and we still see uh, pickles are very low in a lot of places. But I gotta say, Walmart has more uh, than Meyer had, more than Kroger, and it does seem like they have a variety. I don't know if they sell Clawson here. I know somebody was talking about Clawson. Uh, we did see Clawson pickles at the Kroger Marketplace last week, uh, and they had a good amount of them, but um, they're usually in a refrigerated area. Don't know if they sell them here at Walmart. Uh, if we find them, I'll point them out. About the best deals that we've seen on SpaghettiOs lately, $1.17. Those have been going for a buck and a quarter pretty much everywhere. And Chef Boyardee, $0.98. Cents. Uh, that's been up to $1.25. We saw at Big Lots, they were $1.49 a can, which is the most expensive we've ever seen. Um, but they do have a lot of them here for $0.98 cents a can. I know some people were asking about this. So some people were asking about Heinz ketchup. Well, one thing I just noticed... It's the big thing of it here that was 378 is now 428 and we saw it was very low here uh, a couple weeks ago but now they're having trouble getting in heights which i think is kind of funny or not heights but uh hunts um but yeah that's probably what this was this was going away they come up with a little bit of a new design and upcharge so as to where meat has kind of skyrocketed everywhere um I gotta say, this is the most steaks that we've seen at this Walmart here in a long time. There are usually none. Uh, they do have the ribeye steaks, $15.97 a pound. $15.97 a pound. That is insane. That's the most we've seen it anywhere. Um, and yeah, and if you're curious about that price, yeah, it's $14.53, but those are very thin. Very thin ribeyes. Now uh, they do have the T-Bone, $10.47 a pound. Uh, almost $30 for those two steaks there, but I don't know. Uh, we get a lot of comments, uh, mixed reviews on Walmart meat. We usually go to Sam's Club to get this kind of stuff. Somebody was asking about the 10-pound tube. Tubes of meat at Walmart, they did go up. Uh, this was, this has gone up several times. $36.94 for the 80-20 
Uh, this was 3312. And before that, a couple months ago, it was like 28 something. But yeah, 3694, that's that's what it is. They do have it in. I know the question was if, if our Walmart had it. Yes, they do. They do also have the 7327 here. Now this is 3312. The funny thing is that's what that price was uh, not that long ago. So I don't know. Okay, so their pork chops here are 504 a pound, which is just crazy. Uh, I know you see this price here, 837. Look how tiny these are. That's my hand. I don't. I mean, they're they are really small. And honestly, yeah, I wouldn't buy these. Uh, Kroger's and Aldi are usually where we get pork chops or Sam's Club. So another thing too, their drumsticks and thighs are $1.64 a pound, um, which is a little higher than Meyer. Um, they do have some Tyson chicken, but man, $4.28 a pound, $5.76 a pound. That is crazy. That is way too much. Uh, they actually have Tyson chicken on sale at Kroger this week for the legs and thighs. Buy one, get one free. So that's a great deal. Uh, and they actually had some Tyson at our Kroger, which, you know, with everything going on, we've been seeing less and less. But yeah, these prices are way too high. So the spice war continues here at Walmart. We are continuing to see less and less spices. Now they have a bunch, but usually Walmart's pretty stocked up on spices. But a lot of this stuff has just been hard to get in. We've seen at Kroger's where it's been almost completely wiped out. Uh, even some of the one places that we always find it in some dollar stores and stuff, they're getting low because uh, other people are having to go other places to get it. There's that Himalayan pink salt there somebody had asked about. Wanted to point out they do have the big, huge things of Splenda down there that some people were asking about. Um, yeah, and they've got a lot of Splenda here. They also have Domino which has been uh, in short supply lately. Let's see, here's a 10 pound bag for $7.52. Uh, four pound bag for $3.24. That's the cheapest we've seen on the three pound bags, or four pound bags. I still do not see any, somebody had mentioned organic Domino sugar. I, I have not seen that anywhere. Uh, they do have some of the Walmart sugar here. Um, Let's see, 527 for a 10 pound bag and 212 for a four pound bag. So these prices have stayed the same. We've been seeing sugar go up and up in price lately, so I wanted to check this out. Some people have been saying that cooking oils have kind of been going out the door. Well, until now, I don't know, we've been okay, but it looks like at Walmart here, I mean, they got some up here, um, but they are pretty low and out of a lot of stuff here. That's crazy. They do have a lot of the regular cooking oil, some of the big jugs that people have asked about. Uh, Cresco here, $3.98 for 48, 48 ounces, dollar cheaper than Kroger. They do have the Wesson uh, that some people have asked about, and they have the great value, which is really the best deal around. $2.96 for vegetable oil, and $2.98, no, $2.98, $2.98 for both canola and vegetable. Cereal looks like it's starting to become an issue again. Uh, we are seeing less and less. They have a, a lot. They really do, but it's not like what they usually have. Usually this is pretty packed up. Maybe they've got it in the back and just haven't gotten around to it yet. However, I will say on a lot of these prices, I would check out Kroger. <laughs> again, they have their buy five, buy five or more, save a dollar each deal. And there's a lot of cereal, a lot of post cereal and Kellogg's that are on that sale. Uh, we were seeing regular size boxes go as low as $1.79. Uh, Raisin Bran is not included in that, though. I was kind of sad about that. Um, here's something that is cheap again. I just noticed this. Wait a minute. That's the, that's the crunch. Oh, okay. Never mind. I don't know. Why are they selling this one cheaper? This one's usually more expensive than the regular. Maybe because they're not selling it. This Raisin Bran's actually gone up. This was $3.18. 318 a box for the 16.6 ounces. Now it's 348. Doesn't that figure? Did want to show that of all the stores that have been selling the Malto meals, um, cheaper off-brand version here of cereals, Walmart seems to have the most. And they have got a ton. They got this crispy rice here. 
man that is a huge bag 36 ounces for five dollars people have compared that to rice krispies saying it, it tastes no different that's a pretty big bag of cereal for five bucks there so you know as as prices continue to rise i feel like we're going to start seeing more and more of these things to try and cut costs okay so we've gotten some comments on tea again we've gotten a couple comments on tea um not really sure i know somebody mentioned the zazo i don't know i you know what's funny is i feel like the cheapest place to get zazo is target you've seen these for 2.99 at target of course those prices may have gone up too um and it, it has been an issue across the country for months now with tea um you know we were pointing it out there for a while people quit asking about it but somebody mentioned it so i thought i would point it out that walmart does have a bunch of options of tea um they've got some of the other ones here the zen i think was one somebody asked about 668 for 48 tea bags they got the smaller one here um and yeah kind of a pretty wide variety of tea here um i like some of the celestial teas there used to be a sampler that i would get a long time ago uh, it had like blackberry tea i don't think they have oh there it is yep the fruit tea sampler that's a really good one I pretty much like every one of these except for the peach. It, it's okay. I mean, I would drink it just to get rid of it. But um, the blueberry tea, the wild berry, uh, the raspberry was really good. The black cherry is okay. Um, but yeah, I used to get those. Glad to see they're still getting those in. Pretty much gone full-on coffee lately. They do have the big things of the Limpton uh, iced tea there. That's pretty cool. And they do have some coffee options here. They don't sell too much coffee. Uh, for as big as Walmart is, I, I would think that they would sell more coffee than this. Maybe it's just the store we come to. Uh, they do have some Dunkin', but yeah, it's a little pricey. Um, never really good deals here at Walmart for coffee. Um, always seems overly expensive. Well, they do got the... Oh, nope, that's 12 ounces. Not even a pound anymore. Huh. Okay. Six forty-eight for that. They do have the McCafe for $11.98. I believe that's the same price at Kroger, which was down from $15. Uh, they do got the Maxwell House there for $7.48. This is what I was curious about was the folders, because we saw folders for $11.79 at Kroger. Now, it is on sale at Meijer for $7.99 this week, and I would highly recommend, if you have a Meijer, go on and buying it up, because um, also they have the decaf here. 1372, which is funny, that's the highest we've seen that at. That was actually the cheapest at Kroger, uh, 1098. But what I was saying is 799 for a thing of Folgers at Meyer. But when you spend ten dollars this week, you get two dollars off your next purchase at Meyer. Or if you spend fifteen, you get four dollars off your next purchase at Meyer. And that includes pretty much all of their coffee. Uh, so that's a pretty good deal. Plus, you're getting the coffee on sale anyway. But even a regular price, $10.24, that's still way cheaper than uh, Kroger. So they do have the party size of the Cafe Bustello. We've gotten a couple comments on the Bustello lately. Uh, $17.99 for this at Kroger now. $14.92 here, so a much better deal. Did notice that the Taster's Choice coffees, which we've gotten some comments on, went from $7.98 to $8.98. So these are up a dollar. Crazy. So they do have a little bit more variety of the Pillsbury Grands than we've seen in a lot of places. Um, $2, too. Uh, now, they do have it on sale at Kroger, two for four, making it $2. But after that, uh, I believe they're two fifty nine dollars a piece. I don't know. These prices seem to really fluctuate on the Pillsbury lately. I guess it depends on what kind of deal they work out. I would have sworn that this would have went up. They do have their 8-ounce uh, Great Value Sliced Cheeses, which we've gotten a lot of great comments on. Some people have been saying they've been having trouble finding some of them. Still $1.84. Still $1.84 a pack. Uh, that's a good deal. Three thirty-eight dollars for the Sargento. Now, we have seen this on sale. Uh, Meyer was $2.99 on sale for $2.99 a pack. Uh, they are on sale at Kroger for $3.49 a pack, so a little more there, but I know everybody doesn't have Meyer, so it is a little cheaper than Kroger. So I guess they're getting ready for the new Jurassic World movie to come out here. 
blueberry apple cake bites. <laughs> oh, I just saw the dinosaur on there and had to check it out. They actually have some different varieties here too. T-Rex party cake bites. I don't know which one of these I would get. They got a tuxedo there. All, all different kinds of uh, expensive advertising. $4.14 a box. That's a little much. So I was looking at the deli meats over here and I know we got a lot of Oscar Mayer fans on the channel. I wanted to point out that for one pound, $6.57. This was $5 like maybe a little over a month ago, last couple times we came here. It was like $4.98 or something. Walmart's always kind of funny with the pennies. Uh, $6.57 now though, that's crazy. We're not big fans of Oscar Mayer anyway. $7.50 for the one pound Hillshire Farm and Cons, which is crazy. Uh, $4.50 um, for the seven ounce size, which I think, uh, yeah, that might actually be a little cheaper than Kroger. It's been a while since I checked, but I do believe it was $4.99 at Kroger for the same size. Uh, but yeah, all this stuff's going up. Hey, what I just noticed here. Okay, they got the Clawson, Clawson pickles. All right. Four dollars? Yeah. I don't know. It seems about what it is everywhere else. Even the great value meats have gone up. Three twelve. These were two seventy eight. Now again, it's been a little while since we checked. Uh, probably the last couple times we've been here it was two seventy eight, but now it's three twelve. That is that's crazy. Like I mean, you know, with everything else going up, I'm not surprised at all. But I mean, you know, we've gotten a lot of comments on the great value deli meat. Uh, some people liked it, some people didn't. But yeah, for 312, I don't know. I don't know. We've gotten some comments on the right bacon here. They do have the pound and a half thing of it here for 1098. Um, and they have the three pound for 1728. So yeah, the same price as Sam's Club for the three pound that's actually it's really good bacon so the hormel bacon is now 6.98 here this was the cheapest place to get it at 5.98 but it did go up a dollar but we've been seeing it as high as 8.99 so still better than that so a couple good deals i'm seeing here at a regular price are some of these johnsonville brats and mets uh here's one i noticed was 5.99 at kroger 4.12 here so definitely cheaper are starting to get in some more of their fish uh, the frozen flounder we've got a lot of comments uh, one was on the tilapia here uh, 1954 this is up from 1798 the last time we checked so yeah definitely a little more expensive uh, but the person who asked about it I think spent $22 on the same thing so still a little bit better than that uh, surprised they got the flounder back in they do have the Pacific uh, whiting skin on fillets, uh, the whitefish, they got the pink salmon, um, 1364 for the whitefish, uh, that's a pretty good deal on the flounder, 1322, and you can never find flounder unless you go to Lake Jungle Gyms or something, which we hope to get back to here shortly. So somebody a couple weeks ago, I just came across this, was asking about the crab in the can, the real crab meat, chicken of the sea. Uh, they do have them, but $47.92 for this can of crab meat. Um, they've got this one. This is just the claw meat for $35.28. But, you know, I mean, those are pretty expensive. Like, I feel like I would just go for the lump crab, though. But $50 bucks a can, I mean, just buy yourself a couple clusters of crab legs. That's, I don't know, it's pretty expensive. I mean, unless you're making crab cakes for an outing or something, I really don't know, but... Seems a little expensive. Uh, here's some snow crab right here. Twenty fifty-eight each. Okay, so this is twenty-one dollars. I gotta say, those are tiny, really tiny right there. Okay, so I just came back on this. We had somebody asking about chicken wings. Um, these are three fifty-six a pound, which is a little cheaper than we've seen at some other places. Um, most places it's been $3.99 a pound for chicken wings. That is Tyson. They've only got one thing of them here. Um, but, you know, I know it's, it's something that's been hard to get in at a lot of places. But they do have it here at Walmart. You might want to check your local Walmart. 
uh, that is a little bit of a better deal than we've seen, not much. So a viewer on the channel was asking about the Hormel uh, shelf ready meals. Um, they do have them here. It is a little less than what they normally have. They are $2.12. Um, it's about the same as they go everywhere. I think they may be a little more at Kroger. It's been a while since we've checked. Um, but the more most important thing is Walmart does have them. So check your local Walmart, see if they got them. Uh, this is something that goes really fast. They do have the Denti more here also. $2.23 for the, I believe this is 15 ounce, yep, 15 ounce can. But you can get the 38 ounce can for $4.96, uh, which is pretty much the best deal we've seen on it anywhere. And they do have the um, 20 ounce can for $2.68. Quick look over the Nor Pasta sides. Um, you know, I feel like it's kind of in between here. $1.26 here, but we've seen them for $1.35 at Meyer. $1.25 at Kroger, so, you know, I don't know if it's worth going to another store. That's pretty much what we're going to pay. It wasn't a request from somebody, but I did see in the comments somebody was talking about not being able to find tomato sauce. Hunt's tomato sauce, they do have it here at Walmart. Um, $1.18 a can. Boy, that seems a lot for tomato sauce. Uh, even the big one, $1.98 a can. Jeez. If you're not picky, a lot of the great value products are pretty good. We get a lot of good comments on them all the time. 72 cents for the 15 ounce, 15 ounce can, or 98 cents. Oh, that can's dented there. Uh, 29 ounce can for 98 cents. So, yeah, that's a much better deal. So Walmart does definitely seem to be the place to get Progresso or the Chunky Soup right now from Campbell's. $1.98 for either one. Uh, that's the cheapest we've seen. $2.59 at Kroger. $2.49 at Kroger for Progresso. $2.59 for Campbell's. One thing I did want to point out is we've gotten a lot of great comments on the great value canned vegetables. And they're only $0.54. Cents. $0.54 cents a piece. And, um, you know, they are pretty good. We've had the corn and the peas. And the green beans, um, they are really good. 54 cents a can, too. You can't beat that. So here, across from where I am, the canned goods, they have their, like, miscellaneous aisle here. And I did want to show, look at this. Look at this huge thing, a ranch. Hidden Valley Ranch, $8.38. <laughs> that thing is enormous. Look at this craft one. Wow. Craft Ranch. Let's see what that is. One gallon. One gallon of ranch dressing, $12.78. Big thing of the Hunt's tomato sauce right there, $3.92. So yeah, if you can make that last, look at that can of pork and beans, my goodness. And they got the Bush's beans that we saw at Sam's Club the other day. They got the real uh, mayo craft here, one gallon for $9.97. And Miracle Whip. Oh, that's crazy. Look at this can of tuna. That is the biggest can of tuna I've ever seen in my life. $12.98, so $13 for one of these giant things of Starkist. So I did want to point out for the Keystone Meats, that our Walmart does have the chicken and pork. Uh, well, the chicken's a little more, $7.48, $7.42 for the pork, $9.48 for the beef. We saw that this was $8.99 for the chicken and pork at Kroger, and $10.49 for the beef, so still cheap here. I would make sure and take a picture of this before you go up to the register though so you can show them that that is what the price is. Make sure you get it for the right price. Also, the Swanson Chunk Chicken Breast here is only $3.28. We saw that it was over $4 at Kroger. And they have the two-pack for $6.12, which we saw was over $7 at Kroger. So, much better deal here. I'll tell you what, if you're having trouble finding cat food, Walmart might, might be the place to check out. Uh, all the Fancy Feast is a little cheaper than we've seen at most places. It's shot up to 80 cents a can, 76 a can here. More importantly, they have some. They, I mean, they are still low in a lot. And we see where they've condensed this stuff into the middle of all the cans. Um, they do have the Sheba, but again, they only have the pate. Most people are looking for the cuts, uh, the meat cuts. They do have the Fancy Feast Petites. Some of the Friskies here... Um, I mean, yeah, not, they got more of the multi-packs here that you can get, but 
They do have some, which these are a little cheaper too. Uh, 66 cents. Uh, these have gone up to 70 cents pretty much everywhere. And they do have the nine lives in the multi pack. They don't have any of the single cans. Those look like they have a good amount of canned dog food here. Got a lot of the old Roy. Some people are asking about that. They always have a lot of pedigree. Uh, and here's the Purina One. They have the multi pack of the Caesar packs that some people have asked about. They got the single packs up there. They got a lot of the Beneful. We got some comments on those. Yeah. I mean, you know, they have in previous months have condensed this a lot, but it's good to see they got some coming in. Okay, so I wanted to come over and check out the baby formula. I gotta say, guys, this ain't looking good. Um, usually Walmart's the one that I recommend people go to. May have to start looking online. This is ridiculous. The least I've ever seen here. Now they may have some in the back. I don't know. Some people have said that they do that sometimes, but this is too much. Usually this is a security thing here that they would fill this up if they had it, if you ask me. I don't know, but I know there's been a lot of shortage on it. Uh, some of the recalls. But this is very low. This is crazy low for Walmart. Um, they do have a lot. No powder. No powder formula, which we know has been the major recall. They do have a lot of the Good Start uh, Gerber brand here. Um, and they do have quite a bit of it. So good to see that they have this. But just to give you a, a view here. I mean, I don't know. This is crazy. We're definitely going to have to keep our eye on this for sure. Well, guys, that is all the time I have from Walmart here. Um, you know, prices continue to go up. It's sad. You know, I don't, I don't even know what to say. It's like we saw several items in here that have gone up in price. Some of them really high. Some stuff has stayed the same. Some we did find some good prices, at least some better prices than some of the other stores. But that's, you know, I don't really know what to say about that because they're still high priced for Walmart. It is good to see that some of the stuff has stayed pretty cheap. The canned goods for 54 cents. We get a lot of comments on the, can, the great value canned goods. Uh, that people say they're really good. I think they're good. That with the baby formula, I, I don't know. Like, that's the lowest I've ever seen it here at Walmart. Um, you know, I know there's been some shortages on the baby formula and, and the recall, but the recall's been a while. It's been a, a couple months almost. You know, so I don't know why they're not getting it in, but they're going to have to start getting it in. And we're going to have to find some online options for everybody. But yeah, that's the lowest I've seen baby formula anywhere. So we're going to have to keep our eyes out on that, see where we can find it. Walmart has always been the go-to. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.